everybody, welcome to the channel. I am the Fire Escape Griller. And last week I went to a restaurant in the East Village in Manhattan called Momofuku. It is Celebrity Chef David Chang's restaurant and now there's multiple Momofukus. And this sauce was on the table. This is the signature sauce of Momofuku. This is called Sam Sauce. This stuff is delicious. It goes great with pork. And so today, out here on the Fire Escape, I'm going to grill up a pork tenderloin and I'm going to use this Sam sauce as a barbecue sauce. Stick around, this is going to be good. So we're starting here today with a pork tenderloin, of course, and I've rinsed this off, patted it dry with a paper towel. And what I'm doing here is just removing any excess fat or silver skin before I add the seasonings. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is add some olive oil, some good sea salt or kosher salt, it's up to you. A Little bit of fresh ground black pepper and some garlic powder. Don't be afraid to get right in there with your hands. Give it a flip and season the other side the exact same way. And what I like to do is pat those seasonings in and then we are ready for the grill. Out here on the fire escape, I've preheated the Weber Q for about 10-12 minutes and we're going to sear this on high for 2 minutes. After those 2 minutes are up, we're going to give it a flip and sear the other side. Look at those awesome grill marks. Close the lid, 2 more minutes. Now those 2 minutes have gone by and we've seared both sides of the pork tenderloin. What I'm going to do is add the roasting rack and roasting shield and I'm going to place the pork tenderloin right on top to finish cooking. I'm going to lower the gas to medium heat, close the lid and give this about 30 to 40 minutes of total cook time. In the meantime, how about a beer check? Today I'm drinking an Omission IPA. This is a gluten free beer from Widmer Brothers Brewing Company located in Portland, Oregon here in the US. And this is a damn fine beer. The fact that it's gluten free is actually pretty amazing. Okay, so now we're at the 20 minute mark and I'm gonna add some of that psalm sauce. And I'm going to apply it just like I would a regular American style barbecue sauce. But what's really great about the psalm sauce is that it doesn't have too much sugar in it so you really don't have to worry about it burning, unlike an American style barbecue sauce which could be loaded with sugar. So I'm going to paint it on one side, and then flip it over and apply it to the second side the exact same way. And you can see that sauce really gives this tenderloin this nice deep red color. Then just close the lid one last time for the pork loin to finish cooking. Okay, so this tenderloin's been on for at least 40 minutes now. And what we're looking for is an internal temperature of about 140 degrees. Right here we're looking at 138. This is Fahrenheit, of course. And over here we've got 142. So I'm saying this pork tenderloin is gonna be perfect. It's time to pull it in. Bring it inside, put it on the countertop, cover it lightly in tin foil, and give it a good 10 minute rest to let those juices flow back through the meat. And here now the pork tenderloin has rested and it's ready to be carved. Yeah, I really wish you could smell this. It smells fantastic. You can see the juice left over on the plate. We're just gonna carve this up and put it back in that juice. So definitely don't discard the juice. That would be a silly thing to do. Just carve a couple slices off of here and I'll give you a good look at the inside. Get a good look at that. It's looking pretty tasty. Nice and juicy. When I squeeze it, the juice drips out onto the cutting board. 
This is gonna be fantastic. So let me just finish carving this and then I'll put it on a plate and show you our final dish. Pork tenderloin with some sauce grilled on a fire escape in Brooklyn, New York. All right, so I've got a little bit of that pork tenderloin right here with that psalm sauce on it. Unbelievable. So tender, so juicy, and the, uh, the sauce just sort of has sort of like an Asian like zing to it. Really, really delicious. A little bit of spice on the back end. Not too sweet. Man, that really goes well with pork. You know, definitely, if you get a chance, if you can find it, Give this psalm sauce a try. It is really excellent. Uh, you can get it at Whole Foods or you can get it on Amazon. Give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and of course, keep on grilling.